Hey guys, what is up? It is Emilis, and today I am bringing you guys a brand new video. As you guys can see, we are playing some Forza Horizon 3, and in today's video, we are going to be playing with the 2016 Bentley Bentayga. Now, obviously, this is Bentley's, like, newest SUV to their lineup. This thing is absolutely crazy. It is a V12, and I am so excited to see what this thing can do. They claim it'll do 187 miles an hour um, stock, and we are going to go try that on the long highway, and then we're probably going to do some upgrades and maybe even take it into the outback so i'm gonna go ahead put this black paint onto it and um head over to the highway and we are going to give this thing all it's got all right so we are just about to turn onto the highway heading up to this roundabout up here and uh so far this thing is absolutely crazy now off the line pulling right out of the festival this thing actually has a ton of body roll i'll show you guys real quick just watch this thing like almost do a wheelie i mean it didn't look like too much there, but from the back, like that, it just squats. And it, I guess it's because it's an SUV and it weighs a ton. This V12 has 600 horsepower. I'm not sure if it's turboed. Um, I haven't really done that much research. I am going to figure out right now, though, see if we're getting any. Yep, it is turboed. I don't know if it's turboed or twin turboed, but we are getting 27 pounds of boost in this thing. Already in fifth gear, hitting 100, and I think that said 50. Um, I didn't really get too good of a glance right there. Uh, I had to turn, make that corner. But as you guys know, the Rockstar Car Pack came out uh, yesterday with that BMW i8 in it, along with the Bentayga. We have an R31 GTR Skyline, a another trophy truck, and then there's two or three other cars, um, you know, that are also within the pack. Now we are pulling on a Jaguar F-Type 177, I believe that is, and right now we are hitting 170. I really hope we're going to be able to do the 187. Uh, that Bentley claims this thing will do. Obviously, this isn't in real life. This is in a game. Like, clearly, it is in a game. You know, it just, it doesn't really make sense um, if we wouldn't. But normally, Forza is very, very good at, you know, getting those key points and putting them within the game. Now, heading down the hill, hitting 182. Oh, we are so close. If we can hold this speed, and if I cannot hit anybody like I am uh, doing as of now knock on wood and uh you know hopefully we are going to be able to hit this 187 mile an hour you know basically like big milestone for the bentega now i said in the video yesterday going through all of the cars the big overview that i do every time a new car pack is released um i believe this is the fastest suv in the world i'm not too sure we're hitting 184 miles an hour 185 come on two miles an hour away 186 and 187 there it is right there um we actually had to go the entire way down the road and then some lotus pulls out in front of us and uh you know we had to go mustang on them but uh 187 in the bentega what bm or bmw what am i talking about bentley claims um this thing looks very very clean in my opinion uh, i am a very very big fan of this thing and i really want to see one in real life i do have a foreign car dealership near my house and uh, there is a bentley store within the dealership it has ferrari maserati porsche and yeah that's it and then they've got cars that are obviously been traded in um, but i hope that they're going to be able to get a bentega in very soon you know these are two hundred thousand dollar cars and, uh, you know, you can go crazy with the kind of stuff that you can put in these. So I'm going to go back to the festival and, um, you know, actually throw in some upgrades to this thing. See how much power we can put into it. And then I'm probably just going to go for some jumps or something along those lines. Because this Bentega is going to see some of the Outback today. Alright guys, so we just came out of the upgrade shop. As you guys can see, I did wheels. I did everything that you could do. You could throw on a ridiculous wing, but I didn't want to be rice, so I kept it off the car. This car has 913 horsepower now from its original 599 within the game. We hit 187 as our top speed um, on our way down to the other side of the highway, and um, I basically just got very close to that. I wasn't really paying too much attention to my speedometer. But um, as you guys can see, we are easily going to be able to achieve 187 miles an hour. I am going to take this thing off-roading because it's an SUV and I want to see what this thing's got. We are in Australia and, uh, you know, we're going to try and find some kangaroos or something in the outback and see if we can just jump this thing. Like, I just want to get some 
massive air. As you guys can see, off in the distance, there is Blizzard Mountain. I am going to be taking this road on Blizzard Mountain. I just haven't really gotten a chance. Obviously, the pack came out yesterday. And, um, you know, with that being said, what car do you guys want to see next? I can do the I-8. I mean, anything you want. I can do a drift build on the R-31 Skyline. Uh, you know, we can take the trophy truck on to Blizzard Mountain and see what that thing's got. Just whatever you guys want to see, let me know down in the comments section. And uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you guys have any other recommendations for any sort of videos, let me know down in the comment section. It's always nice to be able to, you know, I don't have an idea for a video, so I go and check my comment section. And um, it's always nice to be able to see, like, what you guys want to see. Because then that means that, you know, I'm going to be pumping out content that you guys want to see which is obviously going to get views which in turn just makes both of us happy so it's like a win-win situation so just let me know down in the comment section i just realized we are going 212 miles an hour so clearly clearly past the 187 that we hit oh my goodness let's just pretend that didn't happen and um you know not pull a mustang because 212 miles an hour smacking into the back of a Fiat, then going like 180 miles an hour to zero in like half a second, you would die instantly. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I am so glad that was a breakable tree. Please be breakable. Please be breakable. Oh, I haven't hit a single one. Oh my goodness, this Bentley thing. Holy cow. So one of the biggest jumps ever in Forza Horizon 3 that me myself have found is actually on the runway so uh, obviously I'm not the first one to feature this jump at all but basically you come down the runway and you hit one of those things I'm about to hit a plane oh my goodness I knew it I just how can I squeeze under it after I slow down that makes no sense to me but um you basically just go and you hit that big bump behind you and um sometimes you even land like honestly like on top of a barn find it's not even funny this is probably the easiest barn find uh, within the game. So I've known about this since the like third or fourth day of the game being out. I was driving one of the cars and actually hit the ramp and um, landed on it. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be such an easy barn find. Um, you know, it's kind of crazy. Yesterday, I was going around in the Nissan Titan, uh, finding some of the barn finds that were on my map. And that was one of them. But I completely forgot that it was you know, that one. I didn't realize how close I was to the airport. And then I just jumped onto it, and it kind of made no sense, but right now, 180 miles an hour, how about to hit that 187 that Bentley claims. Um, let's go an interior view until we actually hit the dirt. This thing is very, very nice. This thing, I believe they start as like 140 something thousand dollars, and then they can go all the way up to like 138. Here we go. Oh my goodness. You see, there's the barn find right there. That's the easiest barn find within the game. And, um, you know, it's just crazy. So, after a little bit longer of driving this car, I enjoyed it so much, I have decided to bring it to Blizzard Mountain. Now, obviously, I don't have snow tires on. As you guys can see, they are still the, um, you know, race tires with the Forza lettering on the sides. And um, this thing absolutely rips. Uh, I am going to try and climb up the mountain and see what this thing can do without snow tires on. Um, as of right now, I am just spinning but what I want from you guys is to let me know down in the comment section down below what kind of videos you want to see next you know obviously the new car pack did just release so I do have a few videos planned for the next few days um, and you know I really want to get back into the grind of Forza you know I enjoyed it um, and the whole YouTube I enjoyed doing it while I could you know with the whole job situation uh, you know I couldn't really do as many videos as I was over the summer and then even before that uh, whenever the channel was like absolutely skyrocketing it's kind of come to a halt I'm sitting around 300 subscribers and um, if you guys haven't seen my plans for 2017 I want to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2017 and the only way I'm going to be able to do that is by pumping out content that you guys want to see so let me know down in the comment section what you guys want to see you know honestly it, it can be anything it can be anything from open lobbies to you know, doing all the bucket list and putting them into a montage or something crazy like that. Uh, you know, I would love to be able to make good content that you guys want to see. And the only way to do that is to ask you guys what you want to see. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to make every video uh, that is requested. I would love to make every video that is requested, but I just need ideas for whenever. Some days, I don't really have ideas, and I just need a little idea 
and then I can put something on the channel and you guys will be able to watch something. So it is a win-win situation. So just let me know down in the comment section what you guys want to see. This Bentley did have a little bit of a hard time climbing up that part. Um, but again, I am on street or race tires and so these things don't get a lot of grip on the snow. But anyways, overall this Bentley is an absolutely monster of a car. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. You know, stock 600 horsepower, this thing is fast enough as it is. Um, and then whenever you do all the upgrades, you can bring it to 913 horsepower, which is absolutely ridiculous for an SUV. And, um, you know, it just makes for some monstrous, uh, like, power and just a blast of a car. You know, honestly, this is going to be, or is one of the best SUVs within the game. And I'm going to give it that title until I can find something better. Because as of now, there's not anything that can beat this thing, you know, SUV wise. But anyways, that's going to end today's video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Tomorrow, I am going to be doing another video with the pack. If you guys do want to see that, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on my notifications and you will be notified as soon as I upload the video. But anyways, again, this is the end of today's video. I will see you guys next time. Peace.